Okay, so you ask for it, you get it. I get questions all the time about my assistant, what she does, all that. So I'm gonna break it down right now. I'm gonna give you the three most important tasks that she does for me that makes my life a million times easier. What's up everybody? Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So I really wanna break this down for you so that you can go back and if you're trying to hire an assistant right now, if you're thinking about it, you don't know what exactly you need that assistant to do, or if you have an assistant, you wanna kinda of nail down what the most important things to, to make your life easier and more efficient are. My assistant name is Christy Strickland. All right, she works at the office. I bought an office building when I switched over to EXP. She works there full time along with my second assistant, Brianna. Brianna's more of the front desk girl and also handles a lot of different tasks for me. Christy is more of my real estate assistant and personal assistant, so um, that's kind of how those two roles are. And, and let's dive into it. And real quick, before I do that, remember that time that I met Gary Vee? Okay, I went to VaynerMedia and sat down and told him my story and all that good stuff. If you didn't see it, I'm gonna leave two links below because there was a part one and part two to my vlog to New York that was two years ago. Golly, that was like over two years ago. That blows my mind. But anyway, I'm gonna put links below for part one and part two so you can go and watch that. It's kind of funny, <laughs> there's some funny parts. And uh, also, it was just really cool to, to meet him face to face because literally all I really wanted to do was tell him face to face that he is one of the biggest reasons why I am soon to be one of the highest demanded, not one of, but the highest demanded real estate speakers in the world. And then what am I going to do? I'm going to keep on pushing to be the number one speaker, period. So go check those out. That was part of the Daily Grind vlog, and uh, let me know what you think. Okay, so the first task that I wanna share with you, I'm gonna share with you three, okay, but the first one that I feel like is just a given, okay, just a given, this is the one that, you know, every assistant should have, and that is to basically be the transaction coordinator, okay, to process the deal, process the paperwork, help you with the deadlines, in the contract with the financing and the inspection and the appraisal and all that stuff, help you, you know, organize and schedule these things, uh, so on and so forth, okay? So processing the deals, helping you with the scheduling of the different parts of the deal, um, and, and helping you keep up with the deadlines in case there's things that we need to do before certain dates to make sure that we're within the guidelines of the contract. So the first one's a pretty given one, that is, to be a transaction coordinator, basically. And when I say transaction coordinator, I want you to understand that she's not talking to my clients, okay? I don't know what other transaction coordinators do. I've heard about other transaction coordinators, but I don't know, okay? I've never used one that's just a transaction coordinator. Okay, from what I understand, they kind of handle the whole thing. You don't even think about it. They're talking to your client, they're dealing with this, they're dealing with that. That's not the way I operate. If, if there's something that has to be done that deals with the client, that's where, that's a task for me. That's where I come back into the deal. Okay, if the if a, you know if a inspection repair denim needs to be negotiated, I'm the one that's going to break that news to my client. I'm the one that's going to negotiate back and forth with the other agent and the buyer, the seller, and all that stuff. Anything like that, I'm going to step in and I'm going to handle that kind of stuff because I know how to handle those things to make sure we get it done. All the other stuff, okay, the back end stuff, the processing and making sure we're on time with all the deadlines and scheduling inspections and all that stuff that's gonna be on her. So if you notice, everything I do is with people, okay? Anything to do with people and the clients and the customers, negotiations, writing contracts, showing property, listing appointments, going to closings, things of that nature, that's what I'm gonna handle. That's basically my full-time job. Following up, doing deals, showing property, going to listing appointments, negotiating, writing contracts, going to closings, inspections, all that stuff, that, those are my list of tasks when it comes to my real estate business. And if you can get to where you're just full time doing those tasks, okay, the highest productive tasks that keeps you in front of people, okay, when you're in front of people, you're doing deals. When you're not in front of people, you're not doing deals. Okay, so your assistant needs to help you stay in front of people. The second thing, okay, the second thing is putting my listings in MLS. Okay, putting my listings in MLS and making sure everything is what it needs to be on the MLS side of things, okay, with all my listings. Keeping up with all of them, managing them on MLS, on the back end, 
okay, with all the different things that happen, you know, on that, and that side of the business. I don't have time to sit there, you know, at my desk and input information into MLS to put listings in MLS. Okay, so when she, you know, handles the inputting of listings in MLS, she's also handling setting up the pictures for the professional photographer to go. She's making sure lot box or how we get into the properties. She's making sure there's a sign if it's a house or a lot or however we need to do it. Okay, she's handling that entire process. So once I've talked to the prospect and I've negotiated the price and I've got the listing agreement signed, I'm gonna hand that paperwork to her. She's then gonna start processing the paperwork with the XP and SkySlope. Then she's gonna make sure we're on MLS, we have our pictures right, all that stuff. Now I'm gonna review that, I'm gonna look at it, and make sure it's all good, I'm not gonna do it. Okay, so that opens me up to get back in front of people. Get a listing sign, hand it off. Go get another listing sign, hand it off. That's the process you need to be, uh, you know, kind of moving towards. <laughs> get something signed, hand it off. Get something signed, hand it off. Go do more work, follow up, get something signed, hand it off. So the first one is literally to be the transaction coordinator, processing, all that stuff. The second thing is MLS input, making sure all your listings are in MLS the way they need to be, everything's set up and ready for agents to show. You see, I was at the office and I was sitting there, you know, handling what I'm fixing to tell you and all the processing and all that stuff for 30 active listings, okay, and thinking, I need more listings. You know, I want to go to 50, I want to go to 100. At the time, I really wanted 100 listings. I never actually hit 100 active listings. I hit 70s. I was like a 72 or 3. Right, I got up to like 73 active listings. That was after I hired the assistant, of course, and you know was able to do that. But man, I can't even like right now. That's kind of weird because right now I carry about 30, okay, 25 to 35 listings at all times, active listings. It's kind of where I stay, and that number gets me to my 100 deals a year, to my million dollars, and all that good stuff. And so I'm just kind of comfortable right there, and I just kind of stay at that pace. But 70 was is nuts to me thinking about it. Now, the, the biggest task, okay, this is the third one, the biggest task, and this is the reason why I, had, I hired an assistant, was to take this job on. Once she came on and took this job on, then I was able to take a step back, look at my entire business, and figure out all these other tasks that I wanted her to take on as well, but she had to take this one on immediately and take this pressure off my shoulders, and that was this, handling agents who want to show my listings. I was getting so many showing requests from agents wanting to show my listings. Okay, and it was just too much. I couldn't handle it. It was just a full-time job, you know, getting the request to see the listing and then me calling the seller or calling the renter or calling the management company or whatever, setting it all up, getting back with the agent, letting them know what's going on, right? Giving them the information. Then if there's problems during the showing and all that stuff, it just it was taking away from my bread and butter, which was going and getting more listings. So I knew I had to put a system in place and, and create a machine around this particular activity, okay? Having someone help me with the incoming showing requests for my listings and making sure that those are really great experiences, everything goes smooth, because that's the lifeline, okay? The buyers have to see your listings before they can buy it. So everything has to go really smooth during the request of the showings, the actual showing of the property, the entire process needs to be streamlined and a really great experience for everyone involved. Okay, that's gonna give you the best results possible in terms of a good feeling. You know, hey, this has been a great experience, this was a good feeling, I think we like this house, let's make an offer. Okay, every little bit counts. Okay guys, so you have the transaction coordination, processing side of it, you have the inputting of the listings in MLS and all the things that come with that. And then you have the actual setting up showings for agents trying to show your listings. And also, okay, when I need to show property. Okay, when I need to show property, my buyer will give me the list of properties or I'll come up with a list, however the list has come up with between me and the possible buyer. Okay, I will then give that list to my assistant and say, hey, I need to see these properties between this time and this time on this day. She takes it from there. She puts all the requests in, she gets all the showing uh, instructions, how we get in the houses, if we can show them. She gives me printouts to give to my clients and also printouts for me with showing instructions on those. 
Okay, same thing as the listing appointment. We have the folder with all the stuff inside. I have a dinner card. I give a dinner card to every buyer and every seller, regardless if they do anything. First time we meet, boom, dinner card. $25 to a really nice restaurant in town. So she sets up the showings not only for agents trying to show my listings, but also for me when I need to show properties. So these are the most important three, the biggest tasks. Whenever I'm talking to people, this would be the three things that, you know, hey, what, what does your assistant do? What should my assistant do? Do you have a list? To this is the biggest three. This is kind of where you should start with your assistant and then just kind of go from there. If you know my assistant gets into more of my personal stuff, helping my CPA with different things, um, you know, financial stuff, and you know, she she's more of a personal assistant than just a real estate assistant. Um, but that's just something you have to build into and work towards. I hope this video helps you. I really hope this video helps you if you're looking to hire an assistant or if you already have one or whatever the case may be with that. Let me know what questions you have. Comment below. I'm going to read every comment. So if you have a question about your assistant or what you think they should do or this or that, just let me know and I'll be sure to get those questions answered. Let me know if you have any ideas on other videos you want me to make because this literally came from you asking me the question. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's go.